Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The issue of borderline between Armenia and Georgia. Deputies of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia met with Prime Minister Garnik Sarkisyan. International community has donated $7 billion to Syria at the Brussels conference. There are more than 10,000 women in the Turkish prisons. The restoration works of the Erbaki Armenian St. Kirakos Church are underway. The borderline between Armenia and Georgia is subject to Article 92 of the Treaty of Sever that has been ratified by the Republic of Western Armenia on June 24 of 2016. Such problems are directly related to the supreme interest of the Armenian nation and the responsibility of determining their fate, both from the legal and unilateral perspective bearing the status does not have the present Republic of Eastern Armenia. The proposal of the Republic of Western Armenia on the creation of the the National State Supreme Headquarters, the Republic of Western Armenia, Republic of Armenia and Artsakh still remains without answer. Consequently, the Republic of Armenia, before launching the process of creating borderline with Georgia, must clearly state that it has the Republic of Armenia, before launching the process of creating a borderline with Georgia, must clearly state that it is done only on behalf of Eastern Armenia and not on Armenian state, internationally recognized on the territories of West Western Armenia on January 19 of 1920, mentioned Garnik Sarkisyan, Prime Minister of Western Armenia. On February 18 to 28 of 2019, a group of deputies of the Republic of Western Armenia, led by NA Speaker Aganton Aganyan, had a thorough discussion on current political and strategic issues with Prime Minister Garnik Sarkisyan, during which Prime Minister made the following approvals. Present Turkey does not have the right to represent itself as a representative of the Islamic world. Turkey is not the only successor of the forever destroyed Ottoman Empire. Not all the inhabitants of the present they Turkey are Turks. There are millions of Islamized Armenians in Turkey who think differently and have different views of the future. The Declaration of Independence of the Republic of Armenia says everything about the positions of Armenia in relation to Western Armenia. The highest national interest of the Armenian nation required that the Republic of Armenia be called the Eastern Republic of Armenia so that it does not create confusion regarding the issue of Western Armenia. There is no question of Artsakh, there is a question of the eastern border of the Armenian state, which has gotten international recognition, including on the territory of Western Armenia on January 19 of 1920. Many people talk about the map of Wilson, but this map concerns only the borders of the state of Armenia and Turkey, and the eastern border with Azerbaijan is determined by Article 92 of the Treaty of Severs. This pact is ratified by the Republic of Western Armenia on June 24 of 2016. Creating a national headquarters to protect the interest of the Armenian nation is a national and historical necessity. The headquarters should be formed by the representatives of Western Armenia, Armenia and Artsakh. At the invitation of the European Union and the United Nations, more than 80 countries and organizations took part in the third international donor conference on Syria and the international community has donated $7 billion to Syria in aid to Syrians and refugees. Opening the conference, the participants discussed the recent developments in Syria and state of the negotiations on the crisis in the country, expressing full support for the ongoing political process under the auspices of the UN, calling on the intensified efforts in the fight against terrorism. I am proud to announce that the delegations gathered here have donated $7 billion as humanitarian aid to the people and the refugees of the country. Mentioned European Commissioner for Humanitarian Aid and Crisis Management Christos Talianidis, summing up the results of the conference. He underlined that two-thirds of the sum was donated by the European Union and individual member states. In addition to the summit's co-chairs mentioned that $2 billion would be allocated for 2020 and next year. The participants of the conference donated $1 billion more than last year, TAS reported. Vice President of the Oppositional Republican People's Party, Sezgin Tanrikulu, wrote on his Twitter account about the number of female prisoners. Sezgin Tanrikulu wrote, There are more than 10,000 women arrested and convicted in Turkish prisons. 743 of them are with their children. Keeping children in prisons with their mothers is a very cruel thing. 
The restoration works of the D.R. Bekir St. Kirakos Armenian Church are underway. The funding is provided by the Ministry of Environment and Urban Development. 50 million Turkish Lyras have been allocated for the restoration works, which will be controlled by the General Directorate of State Funds. St. Kirakos Church was built in 1376 and is considered to be the largest Armenian church in the Middle East. In 2012, after a 32-year break, here took place the first church ceremony. The renovation works of St. Kirakos Church have been carried out with the financial support of the Armenian Patriarchate of Constantinople. The Diyarbakir City Hall has also supported the renovation works of the church. Because of the Turkish-Kurdish clashes in Diyarbakir in 2015, the local churches have greatly suffered. Now let us represent to your attention the song Komitas Khankizar. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.